So this episode, we're going to be painting some gorilla men pretty great. Boom. Something like this guy. Hope you guys enjoy and stay tuned. Hello and welcome to another Sculpting with Griffin, painting edition. So, today we are going to be painting these two gorilla men. Uh, I like to paint minifigures, it's a fun pastime. And recently, one of my best friends gave me a much wider selection about only half of these paints were actually mine. Uh, half of them were my friends, who is recently moving and couldn't take his figurines or his paints with him. So he gifted them to me, which I am quite grateful for. So now I have an extreme abundance of minifigures and paint. And now I gotta start doing some painting. I gotta catch up. Yeah. So, today I'm thinking of painting these two guys and maybe just doing this little spider guy as well. Might as well. Um, yeah. So first things first, we have to prime these two guys. When painting minifigures, the start is always you use a primer, white or black. Personally, I like black much better because number one, you get to see all the spots that you missed because obviously all the guys are white. Using white primer, you don't really get to see where you've gotten and missed. You really want to cover them pretty, pretty heavily in the primer so that they're really completely black. Not a single part of it is, or at least not a single part that you're planning on painting has even an inkling of white in it. So let's start with that and get that done. Oh, very important thing before I uh, start speeding this up. Make sure that you shake your paints extremely well. So you really wanna shake them a lot, like a solid like minute or so of painting, of uh, shaking. Oh, 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 
All right. So I've pretty much finished this these guys uh, painting job. It took a pretty long time. That's kind of just how it goes. With this kind of stuff. Um, they're pretty much complete. They're pretty much covered completely. Ah, oh, shit. There's a few spots. That's the problem. You have to get every single spot. And these guys are particularly annoying because they're hairy, which means that there's going to be little crevices. Crevici. <laughs> little crevices everywhere around them. And that just makes it really difficult to get every little nook and cranny. But the better job that you do at getting everything, the better it's just going to look in the end. Alright, so I think I'm going to touch up a few spots that I'm seeing right now and then we're gonna get start on the actual colors So right now what I'm doing is I'm kind of deciding what colors these guys are as the last of their primer kind of uh, dries up. So what I'm thinking is I'm thinking these guys are going to be silverback gorillas kind of vibe with maybe like a red belly area. Mm. And then for my little, my little uh, spydro, my little spider guy, I think I might just dry brush on some like greens and purples and stuff. Maybe like these guys. Uh, choosing out of my large array of paints here. Mm. Yeah. Oh, let's get some got like a bone white somewhere I think. Mm. Yellowed bone, here we go. Alright, let's get this show on the road. Start painting some fools. It sucks because I'm shaking up these paints and it freaking shakes the camera. I can't, I can't stop it from shaking the camera. I'm trying my hardest. <laughs> you guys are just gonna have to deal with the shaking.
So, I've kind of done this spider pretty much. I'm pretty much complete with this spider. Um, I think I might give it a little bit of a brighter green later on. Kind of like around here on its thorax, something that makes it like glow a little bit, you know? A glowing kind of look to it. Besides that though, I think this is pretty good. If you saw, I kind of just kept, like some guys, usually smaller creatures like bugs, but I'll probably do about the same thing with these guys. You kind of just want to keep layering the paints on. So you might do like a starting layer of just a white. And then you might decide, mm, I want there to be a little silver in there. So you start kind of putting a bit of silver in places and then you do another layer that might be like a darker silver or maybe a, a smoky gray or something like that. And then maybe you do a brighter color like a red or an orange or something like that to really make it all pop. And then you just airbrush on a couple of different extra colors, kind of make it more lifelike. And then you pretty much have your guy. And that's pretty much the same thing that I do every one. Now, of course, there are different guys that need different things. Like, for instance, this guy right here, right? If you look, there are parts of him that really need to stay a certain color and parts of him that really need to stay another color. But even though that is true, he still got airbrushed in many different ways. Um, you just sometimes you need to do like detail and then airbrush over the detail. Yeah. All right, so let's get that, let's get these guys rolling. Well, we have started the painting job of the two monkey men. Uh, so far they're coming out pretty well, I think. I think next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start giving their hands, uh, eyes, teeth, and uh, feet some color so that this fur kinda looks more alive.
about you, things that hurt me, things I want. Well, I have done a pretty decent job at painting them so far. Um, I've got the feet done, Mal's hand, his weapon, his little necklace. Now I think I'm going to get the teeth a separate color that's different from the hair. And then I'm gonna do a bunch of airbrushing and then I think these guys will be done. Well, I think they're done. Uh, my two gorilla men have been completed. They're looking pretty good. Uh, pretty, pretty blood splattered and uh, pretty grody. But you know, they're, they're, they're gonna eat you. This is clear like, I'm gonna eat you gorilla men. Um, I also did the little spider, kind of like a little extra guy. He came out pretty well. I'm actually pretty happy with the spider. He looks good. Nice little green color. So here we have it. Our two guys. Uh, let's get a closer look on them. Hold on. There we have them. Uh, they look pretty good. I'm pretty satisfied with them. Just to give them a look with all our other guys. Here they are. They're looking pretty good. All right, well, I think that'll be it for this painting job. All right, that'll be it for this video. Uh, like, subscribe, and comment. You can follow me on Instagram in the link in the description. And uh, yeah, 
Thank you guys so much.